Uh, so two years ago from now, we're well over a year and a half uh, from when the pandemic hit. So you'd started planning this before the pandemic. Yep. Um, kind of talk about the process for you, whether was this building built? Had you bought your equipment yet? Um, did that halt your plans? Did it speed things up? What changes did you have to make um, without employees maybe at the time? You didn't have to maybe from a safety restriction standpoint, you didn't have to do much, but just talk about how the pandemic kind of affected your business. So it, it really affected it. Um, we actually were starting up kind of right when it hit. Okay. And we actually talked about putting the brakes on the whole thing. Um, you know, we sat down and we decided, you know, if we're going to do it, let's do it. Um, but we did downsize from what we were doing. You know, the original plan was to build a two acre greenhouse on it okay. um, and supply our plants for ourselves. Um, but it got to the point where us included, we didn't want to put all of our eggs in one basket and sure. invest money in something. And we didn't know what was going to happen in the world at that time. Right. Um, but we decided to move forward with it, but we did, we did went from a growing, um, and extraction to just extraction. Okay. Um, as far as through the pandemic, we didn't have uh, a lot of limitations. Um, we were here learning. Um, I guess the only COVID thing that really came up was the guys who came and helped us install our equipment from Canada actually ended up getting COVID. Oh. So our training went from, you know, probably 10, eight to 10 days down to two or three days. Okay. So we did, we did lots of WhatsApp and lots of texting and video calls, Google meets and stuff like that, just to, just to learn everything. Um, but so much of this is trial and error and our machines, there's none of them like them in the entire world right okay. now. Um, so it was trial and error. There is smaller versions of them, but you never know what it's going to do until you get that piece of equipment and start working with it. But, Is that maybe a benefit in the long run that you had to trial and error things? Um, yes. I mean, it's definitely slowed us down a little bit, but um, this is the oldest way of doing it. It's just nobody has scaled it like we do it with the technology that we have. Um, it's just figuring out how to get the most out of that hemp plant as possible. Sure. You know, being you know the most efficient you can with it um it's kind of been the it's kind of been the trial and error part and then running the machine behind us is just creating oils and you know what temperature we cook it at how long do we cook it at how much do we um run the mixer in it you sure. know and just, it's just small things like that you just fine tuning you just kind of have to do by trial and error